Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Doctor Who. Today we're going to be breaking down and reviewing episode 2 of season 11, so if you do go on to enjoy this video and you want more Doctor Who videos, please be sure to subscribe and leave a like and a comment. So, this episode was pretty good. I was very entertained throughout. I felt like episode 1 was quite a lot better. I felt like this one had a bit of staggering in regards mainly to the writing. Perhaps some of the supporting characters weren't as convincing in this episode. I think they had too much to cover in the episode, it was kind of a big construct idea that they tried to portray with the idea of the different planet and there was loads of dialogue explaining things that really didn't need to be explained, but apart from that, I thoroughly enjoyed the Doctor and the end scene is really really good where they actually reveal that the TARDIS is actually on the planet and they step inside the new TARDIS and it looks amazing in the inside of it and you know, there's just various scenes like that that I really enjoyed. Last episode I gave it a 4 stars out of 5, this episode I give it 3 stars out of 5, only due to the staggered writing like I said, like the extra writing that I don't think was there. Very humorous, I really like the humour, I really connect with the humour, but like I said, I think the supporting characters maybe weighed it down a little bit, but once again, Jodie Whittaker puts on an amazing performance in this very average episode, I feel like. And so the main plotline of the episode is they are stuck on a planet, and this planet has been destroyed by the Stenza. So we were introduced to them last episode with Tim Shaw. The Stenza is going to be a recurring theme that's going to be in this season, so I look forward to seeing them. I was intrigued by Tim Shaw last episode, and um, I'm looking forward to see a lot more of these different alien type things in Jodie Whittaker's Doctor. Once again, the cinematography is beautiful, I think that's the best thing about the show along with Jodie Whittaker. So I'm overall very, very convinced with Jodie as the Doctor, and just not too convinced with the supporting characters. I think the writing needs to improve a bit, I think Jodie does really well for what she's given. And I just don't think it's matching like some of the older Doctors. I think it's better than Peter Capaldi's Doctor Who series as of right now, but it's obviously not matching David Tennant. He's my favourite, but you have to remember this is early days. This is episode two of the new Doctor Who series. And, you know, there's so much that they can improve on, but there's also a lot that they're doing right right now. So that's a really good thing. So let me know what you think of this episode in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next week for another Doctor Who review and reaction. So, yeah, see you guys later. Goodbye.